Welcome back everybody, somebody requested to do an RPCS3 setup video for Armored Core Verdict Day here, so I'm just making something really quick. Uh, all I can say is once you get your copy of Verdict Day and you have it installed in your computer somewhere, all you want to do is select boot, find wherever your game library is set up, you know, all you want to do is select it, select folder, and it will add it to this main library right here. Now, one thing I will do to kind of make it, you know, show you what happens when you load up the game for the first time in just a little bit. Uh, first things first, your settings. I did have a few people mention that they can play online for Verdict Day. As far as I know, you can. I haven't figured it out yet. I'll maybe look into it later. These are the settings I have. I don't have AVX 512 because I just upgraded to a 5800X AMD CPU. But if you do have it available, it will definitely help you when it comes to your performance, especially if you have um, AM5 and new CPUs, or if you have Intel, as long as you don't have the newest ones, because, well, Intel got rid of AVX 512 support. Uh, someone on the... Uh, previous comment mentioned why don't you have it at 1080p why are you playing at 1440 or 4k uh honestly it just has to do with the resolution of the game the game's gonna play the same the only difference when you're doing doing the gpu it's gonna affect the graphics not so much your cpu performance so cpu just leave it as interpreter recompiler llvm i have enable spu safe auto and uh, relax explode uh, gpu you know, it just comes down to what you have. If you have a 3080 or higher, you'll be just fine. I'm running it at 4K just because the game's more CPU bound than anything. Right color buffers, it's a lot better when it comes to the shadows. Ultra Tread RSX, these are the settings I have on just because I have an AMD. Uh, resolution Scales Threshold, I haven't messed with this so much. Maybe I will later. Uh, enable FSR, um, I'm not going to worry about it uh, whatsoever. Audio system, all those are fine. Advanced, I don't think I really changed anything that I can remember. Or a fast auto. I think I did change this one to 200. This is your screen resolution. This game's not gonna you know, hit 60, so don't worry about it, especially if you have something faster. Uh, debug, none of these are you know, changed. Make sure you also go into the game patches. So manage game patches. Uh, new patches are available do you want to update yeah sure yeah yeah so blah, 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 blah. pretty sure i had something here download latest patches great all i don't know what's going on it was showing up before so i have not there we go so just delete the very top uh let's see where we can find it uh i was looking at uh, the last of us that's why i'm here before good uh so what i'm going to do here is i'm just gonna if you go here and if i remove the shader cache the ppus you know as you load up the game for the first time this starts compiling as being saved on your rps3 basically into your computer you're going to be just fine i always use an xbox controller so if you want to change that up just go into pads if you want to have a good idea of how to download rpcs3 into your computer i suggest you look up a youtube channel called your average gamer he's really good uh he's the one i use to set up my computer and everything so double click i have msi afterburner so i could see how the game performs uh if you click alt enter it makes the screen go full screen, which is actually very handy. I'm just gonna continue based off my save data that I have. Compared to my last video, this is an updated CPU. I was using a 50 100X, and now- Good morning, main system, water, checking pilot data. Uplift is worse. Main like system. The frame, Normal mode activated. Now resuming mission operations. Break. Welcome back. So the game loads up. I actually noticed as as I've been playing for about an hour right now, the game hasn't actually crashed on me. 
exclusively, which is great. The game will crash, be aware of that, so sometimes you might finish a mission and it crashes and you have to start the mission all over again, so just be aware of that. Uh, right now, I was using melee weapons, so on my left side of the I have my two millies, and then my right weapon side is, you know, assault weapons. Or so I just go to story really quick, um, you know, just to show you the intro really quickly. I'm recording, game's not crashing, which is very nice. Main system, activating combat mode. Sure to have seen us. Fire as soon as you get in range. The other units on the move. The stage is set. Now just wipe out everything that moves. Scanning. Beacon set. Target logged. Kill every last one. That's the deal. Those are the settings I recommend. Good, smooth gameplay, and it was and no crash. So, if you do have a six core, you'll have ex a couple more crashes here and there. But I, ever since I moved to an eight core right now, oh, there's a crash. Well, see, it still happens. So, game's not perfect. It's playable, but you know, expect crashes every now and then. Sadly. Well, hope this video helped, and um, that's it.